Why can we see India and Pakistan smog from space? Between November and January, it's smog season in Southeast Asia, which means the pollution gets so bad that residents are often forced to stay indoors due to the dangerous air quality levels. This year, though, has been especially rough. Reports are showing that the air pollution crisis is so bad it can be seen from outer space. Basically, what happens is that pollution in the region is exacerbated because of smoke from holiday celebrations, farmers burning their fields after the harvest season, and the cold weather, which traps in the already high levels of pollutants. In New Delhi, the pollution levels right now are 50 times higher than what the World Health Organization says is a safe limit. And that is not without consequences. A doctor in New Delhi, for example, claims that 60% of her patients had pollution-related illnesses. And according to a report from the University of Chicago, the 33 million residents who live in New Delhi are expected to lose up to eight and a half years off their lives because of pollution exposure. As if this isn't bad enough, I want to talk about a New York Times investigation that was recently published about New Delhi's pollution that blew my mind. New Delhi has a major trash crisis. Their landfills reach 200 feet into the air, they occasionally collapse on people, and there have been fires at these landfills that release toxic fumes for days. So the government came up with a revolutionary plan which promised to safely burn tons of trash daily in a state-of-the-art plant, which would then turn the waste into electricity, which would solve another of the city's major problems. Two birds with one stone, right? I wish. The New York Times found that the plan to burn the trash has caused a, quote, mass poisoning, exposing up to a million people to toxic smoke and ash. In fact, the article explains that internal reports from the Indian government found that the trash burning plant pumped 10 times the legal amount of dioxins into the air. That's the key ingredient in Agent Orange, which was a chemical used by the US military during the Vietnam War that is linked to 17 different deadly diseases and cancers. The ashes are then dumped near densely populated residential areas and next to schools and parks. Now, incinerating trash alone is not usually a problem if it's done safely. In fact, this is the same technology used in the US and Europe. But we don't have the same effect because the owners of the plant in India apparently cut corners to save money. And now residents near the plants are reporting severe health issues like lung diseases, skin boils, and a major increase in miscarriages. And yet the Indian government is planning to open new similar plants in other cities across the country. Until they regulate and get it right with the first one, maybe they should think twice before they poison their entire population.